Hello everyone, how are you today? So sorry about the lagging issue on the live stream today. So I just ended the live stream and uh, recording the video today. Um, so hopefully you enjoy today's video session. And I'm very sorry about the the network issue. I guess uh, I uh, I think it was a router uh, network issue. So uh, hopefully uh, you can join the live stream on the next one. So today this is going to be the video session, and I will talk about. Uh, the one of the pairs, pound AUD, that is trending up. So I will uh, analyze from top down, from daily chart down to the five minute chart and talk about the entry edge. So let's get started right now. So let me squeeze my face and uh, start the video session today. So this video is actually uh, based on my own experience knowledge. So when you take trades, please do with your own risk management. And yeah, this is a video. Please follow the guidelines of rules when you're watching this video and making comments. Okay, so uh, yeah, so today pound AUD is strongly bullish and this is caused either strong pound or weak AUD. So which one it is, we can actually look at the strength chart and identify. So here is a screenshot for today. And in terms of pound and AUD, let me specifically pick up the pound AUD. So pound is going up right now and AUD is going down. So both ones are actually on towards, uh, towards the um, different directions, opposite direction. So this is actually caused by the, these two currencies. So when pound is strong on pound AUD, that will make the pound AUD as a pair to go to make to go to go up, and if AUD is weak on pound AUD, then uh, that will make the pound AUD to go up also, as a forex pair. So, in this example, once again, the the uptrend on pound AUD is caused by these both currencies, and with that in mind, um, let's look at the daily chart and today we have a nice bullish candlestick and as per Ichimoku 5 lines the Kumo's up, Senko Span B up, A up and Kijun Sen Tenkan Sen are all up and Chiko Span above the candles. So this is stable uptrend and this is exactly the market you want to look for a buy chance. So I made an analysis on this pound USD today and actually I bought it I will tell you uh, where I bought it today. And I exited with the break even because there was a retracement. And afterwards, I went, I went outside of home and just came back home right now. So um, I have no positions right now. But I'm actually looking for another buy chance right now. So let me break it down to the lower time frames and look for an entry chance. So, but before doing that, uh, here is one hour chart. I always make sure to confirm the trend also in these mid time frames. And you can see one hour chart is also going up right now as per Ichimoku lines. Senko span B is up, A is up. And Kijun Sen, Tenkan Sen both moving upwards and Chiko span above the candles. So, this is actually a bullish trend too. The market broke the previous high and now it's actually going up still. So here in this condition, we only look for the buy chance. Sometimes I've seen the traders looking for the sell from here because the market actually reached to some uh, previous resistance level or um, because simply uh, this is too much bullish trend for the last two hours. So you might think it's going to go down and you might sell. But actually, that's not true. We have to follow the trend direction and look for buy in this condition. So let me go down to five minute chart in this example and talk about the potential buying edge. So before I was, today earlier, I was actually buying the market here. I placed a buy over here at, the, at this uh, two candles high. Let me enlarge the chart. So I was buying here and my stop loss was the previous low 
I, I think actually I took the second previous low here in this example. And um, the market went upwards afterwards. So I set the break even line. When I see this end wave, I set the break even line. I move the stop loss to break even. And afterwards, the market retraced backwards heavily. And my position was taken away from, by this break even line. So I don't lose, so it's perfectly OK. If I lose it, then I have to improve the risk management. Or if I lose 1%, it's okay. If I lose 2%, then I have to improve with my exit timing. But in this particular trade earlier today, it was a break-even trade. So I don't lose. I can save money to look for, to trade for next, other, next opportunities. So this is, why, this is what I do in terms of the risk management. And that's why I say that to become a non-losing trader is the key to success. And that will be actually the main topic on this YouTube channel, to become a non-losing trader before becoming a profitable trader. So risk management is the key to success. And in this case, I don't lose. I exit exit position. I was happy because the market went backwards afterwards. So if I still kept the position stop loss here, then um, I will lose 2%. So, but right now, the market went upwards. So after I exit with a break even, I went outside from home and I wasn't able to check charts and just came back about uh, one hour ago. And I found the market broke the previous high and now it's still going up in this direction. So right now, um, if I were to look for the buy chance, um, I see that there is a bang walking. The price has been going up along with this deviation one, two. It's nice bang walking. And also there is an end wave happening. Looks like it's growing, growing right now. Um, so yeah, and also this is end wave forming, consecutive end waves. So I can see that there is a strong bullishness in this condition. So if I place a buy right now, let's say I place a buy right now on this position at 1.8814, then the stop loss in this case is going to be the previous low in five, which is going to be at, uh, in this five minute chart previous low is 45 pips and 45 pips of stop loss is a bit too wide for me. So usually I have, I set it at the 23 pips below. So my stop loss in this case is going to be here and I expect the market goes up this way. That will be my entry chance. So, um, and let's see. So the target, if I take a buy here now with this uh, 23 pips of stop loss, my target is going to be based on the daily chart. So let me come back to the daily chart again. And there is a resistance level based on the daily chart at 1.8986. If I squeeze the chart all the way in the past, and you can see a little resistances here. So this is going to be an uh, ultimate target. 1.89A6 is going to be an ultimate target. So, um, yeah, that will be where I will be placing the buy and stop loss here. So, once again, if I go back to the five minute chart, still nicely, the trend is persisting. So, yeah, if you happen to watch the video right now, and um, yeah, if, you, if it's still growing up and up in this direction, then I think this is a still a nice chance to buy. But even, so, but when you buy, please remember that this information is only for the informational purposes. So please take your own risk per trade. But with that risk management, I think that will be a great buy chance. So. After I stop the live stream, uh, sorry, the, this uh, video session, um, I will also look for an entry edge to buy. So uh, yeah, but that will be my 
analysis and I expect the market goes up and this N wave direction continuously upwards this way. Yep, yep, yep. So yeah, that's uh, pretty much it for this video. I just wanted to talk about the uh, pound AUD because I thought that is, this is a nice example to explain from daily chart all the way down to five minute chart to take a trade. So hopefully uh, you can catch the trend nicely and uh, trade the profit as long as it goes towards upwards in this direction. Okay, so that will be the end for this video session. I hope you enjoyed it. And once again, I will, I'm very sorry about the network issue happening on the previous live stream today. So hopefully I will see you in the next one. And until then, please stay healthy, stay safe, and stay gold. All right? Bye for now, everyone. Matane. Thank you.